Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this lecture, we'll discuss some practical examples for the deadlock topic we already discussed. Discussion agenda for today's lecture is in front of you. First, we will recapitulate the deadlock problem as we have discussed in chapter 5. We would recap what is a deadlock and how it creates problem for operating system. Then we will proceed for the deadlock detection method which we have also discussed in chapter 5. Then the detection algorithm will be discussed and detection algorithm code snippet will be seen and discussed here. At the end, we will be discussing the sample output for the code example. So, let's start. First topic of discussion is to recapitulate the deadlock. What is a deadlock? The definition of deadlock says it is a set of block processes each holding a resource and waiting to acquire a resource held by another process in the set. What does this definition mean? Let's develop our background with the help of an example. For example, we have two tape drives in the system and there are two processes P1 and P2. Both of them are holding one tape drive each but require another one to complete their execution. Blocked state as mentioned in the definition is actually the waiting state when a process is waiting for some resource to be assigned to it or it is being executed on some resource. We have discussed block state in chapter 2. So now the situation is two instances of tape drives are there and both of them are being held by two processes each but they are not proceeding ahead as they require one more instance of the tape drive. So what they are doing now? Neither they are moving ahead themselves nor they want each other to move ahead. So this situation is actually known as a deadlock. So this is what we have recapitulated from chapter 5. Now let's see how deadlock detection works. This is the next topic in the agenda. The deadlock detection says once the system enters in the deadlock, so then the detection algorithm will be run to observe if it is a deadlock or it is a live lock. As you all know, live, live, live lock is a situation in which there is a lock for some time. It's normally known as a temporary lock. It is not a deadlock. So, the deadlock detection algorithm will observe if it is a deadlock or a live lock. So, once it is confirmed that it is a deadlock and then we have to apply some recovery scheme in order to get the system out of the deadlock.
now let's see how deadlock detection algorithm works this is the next topic in the agenda deadlock detection algorithm works to look for circular weight in the resource allocation graph after detection of the deadlock in the resource allocation graph we would look for the schemes to recover from the deadlock as we mentioned in the previous slide so for the single instance of resources within the resource allocation graph we would try to reduce it to their respective weight for graph the corresponding weight for graph is developed from the resource allocation graph by eliminating resources and connecting processes such as process pi is waiting for resource held by process pj as you can see in the diagram in the resource allocation graph process pi is waiting for the resource held by process p2 and process p2 is waiting for the resource held by process p3 process p4 and process p5 so what we will do an edge from p1 to p2 will be directly drawn eliminating the resource r in between then the circles in the weight for graph will be detected to check if the system is in deadlock or live lock you can see here the corresponding weight for graph in which we have reduced the graph by eliminating resources so direct connection of process from one process to another is created now it is now easy to detect circles if there are circles that would be a deadlock and if there are some circle breakers then that situation would be a live lock we have discussed this situation in chapter 5 now if for example we have multiple instances of a single resource then we have to use the same banker's algorithm as we discussed previously in chapter 5 when we were discussing deadlock in detail so for multiple instances you will apply the same banker's algorithm that would detect if the situation is in safe state or unsafe state safe state or safe sequence of resources mean there is no deadlock but if the sequence of resources are in unsafe state then there is a possibility of deadlock next topic of discussion is the code snippet how detection algorithm can be coded So this is a small piece of code in which we have tried to create deadlock detection algorithm the complete code can be found in word document on your kcms this is just a slight snippet in which we are trying to create detection algorithm and especially we have tried to apply the banker's algorithm we have tried to code the banker's algorithm so once you will execute the code the output would ask you to enter number of processes and also the total number of resources and then you would be required to enter the required allocation as well as the available resources in a matrix form matrix will be created on its own 
at the end the code will generate if the allocated sequence will lead to deadlock situation or it will lead to a live lock situation. I hope you would code the example yourself as attached in the word document and see the results shown in the sample output. So that's all for now. I thank you all.